Hey everyone, Pinterest reported first fiscal 2023 first quarter earnings results and the market did not like what they saw from Pinterest. The stock was down 15% as of this recording on the day following Pinterest's earnings release. So I've gone through the earnings results and I want to share them with you here. And I want to answer the question, is the market overreacting to Pinterest? earnings report or is it justified so in other words I know a lot of you are asking why is the stock down so much it shouldn't be down so much or maybe you're saying it should be down even more so I'm gonna talk about that and I'll share that with you in this video so let's, so let's begin Pinterest revenue increased by 5% to 603 million its loss per share worsened to 31 cents that was worse than the one cent per share it lost in the same quarter last year. But this included a $121 million restructuring expense this year as the company laid off employees, cut costs and took other charges to, um, you know, sometimes when the companies do these restructurings, they take the costs up front and then the savings come later on down the road. And then in terms of revenue, um, you know, Snapchat, Snap also reported earnings yesterday and Snap's revenue decreased by 7%. So Pinterest did relatively well by delivering revenue growth of 5% in the first quarter. Also, keep in mind that in January, February and March, overall advertising industry spending declined by roughly 7 to 8% year over year. So the industry was down 7%, but Pinterest grew by 5%. Now Pinterest gets all its revenue from advertisers. So the fact that it was able to grow despite that headwind, I thought was impressive. Also, Pinterest added 30 million monthly active users to reach 463 million year over year. And from the previous quarter, it was up by 13 million. So robust growth in terms of monthly active users for Pinterest. Although sadly, the North American user growth was flat. Users from US and Canada remained flat. And that's important because these are the most valuable users in marketers eyes. Marketers are willing to pay the most for users to get the attention of users from the US and Canada because people in the US and Canada have more money than in other parts of the world. So that's why marketers are more interested in influencing their purchasing decisions. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. The average revenue per user declined by 1% year over year. Again, this was much better than what Snap reported. Snap reported a double digit decrease in average revenue per user. So relatively speaking, Pinterest outperformed Snap, which is not usually the case. Cash flow from operations at Pinterest decreased to 183 million. This was down from 213 million from the first quarter last year. This is an area where Snap did a better job than Pinterest. Snap actually delivered year-over-year -year increases in cash flow from operations. And then finally, management is forecasting similar revenue growth <clears throat> Excuse me, for the second quarter. So roughly 5% revenue growth forecasted for the second quarter. Uh, comparatively speaking again, Snap did not provide any guidance for the second quarter, citing macroeconomic uncertainty as the reason why being unable to make a forecast for Q2. So overall, to answer the question, is the market overreacting to Pinterest's uh, quarterly financial results? And I would say yes. I don't think the stock should be down 15% following these earnings results. To be down a little bit, I understand. 5% um, or so, I understand if it was down that much. But to be down 15%, might be a bit of an overreaction here because the company did grow revenue. It did a great job adding monthly active users, 30 million monthly active users, and quarter over quarter adding 13 million monthly active users. This might not show a strong benefit right now because overall ad industry spending is down, 
but down the road a couple of quarters down the road when marketers start to look to try and influence purchasing decisions again that's gonna pay off for Pinterest so there was some good in there um, including some bad news right average revenue per user declining is not good cash flow from operations decreasing was not good and the worsening loss per share was not good so I understand the stock price decreasing after the earnings results but I think 15% is a little too much I I would not be surprised if the stock price recovers um, over the next couple of days all right so that's all I've got for this video on Pinterest thank you so much for watching and if you like this video I've got a lot of videos like this one coming out throughout this earnings season one of my favorite times of the year so if you want more of this kind of content please go ahead and subscribe I would really appreciate it thank you so much